Support us on patreon.com slash goyomujotech. Click now to learn more. Hey, what's up guys? This is Bill from Tech, and this is my new test bed. So as many of you guys know, I recently just did a major upgrade to my gaming PC and I had a whole bunch of parts lying around in my room just collecting dust. So I decided to put together another PC and basically this is it. So as I said, many of the parts are actually just old parts that used to be in my old PC and I didn't need to acquire that much more hardware in order to build this test bed. So giving you guys a quick overview, one thing I did need to get was an open air chassis and I basically acquired a no name one that came from China. It does look pretty good in my opinion though with neat features such as front USB 3.0 ports, a mic and a headphone jack as well as a power and reset switch. The case is also separated into two chambers, the top being for your motherboard and the bottom being for your power supply as well as your drives. I really do like this design because it gives you a ton of space for cable management. The case is definitely not perfect though, mine came with a whole bunch of micro scratches on the bottom board and the power and reset switch aren't the highest quality in the world but for the 50 bucks I paid for it I'm not complaining. Now moving on to the motherboard this is the Z87 deluxe board from ASUS and this board was actually an old part that came from my old PC. It has exceptional build quality and neat features like Wi-Fi 802.11 AC included. It also has a lot of PCIe ports as well as SATA 3 ports for me to test out drives as well as graphics cards in the future. The processor was also from my old computer. It's an i7-4770K and it's a beast of a processor even up to today's standards. Cooling it, I have a Hyper 212 EVO from Cooler Master and it's well known in the community for having a great bang for your buck ratio. The RAM I'm using is an old kit of Kingston HyperX Beast RAM running at 2400MHz. Moving on to the power supply, this was a new part that I had to acquire for this PC and I got it second handed on eBay for around 100 bucks. It's an 1000 watt 80 plus gold rated power supply from Enermax and it has really nicely sleeved semi modular cables. I mean just look at that pattern. You've never seen that before. Finally last but not least you have our storage drive which is a Samsung 850 Pro 120 gig SSD. It's basically one of the fastest SATA SSDs available and 120 gigs is more than enough for me to store a few games as well as a bunch of benchmarking apps. The only problem is this case doesn't have a 2.5 inch mounting point so I just stash it in the basement. And I guess that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna try to put out more computer hardware related videos now that I have my test bed. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. This is Bill from Goyomojo Tech, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.